In this presentation, we're going to talk about the three challenges every leader must face. Now, granted, there are plenty of challenges that leaders already face as it is, and it's more than just the three we'll be listing. As for what those challenges are, they are perhaps the most critical that every leader must be aware of. So, without further ado, let's get right into it with the first one. Now, pay close attention. The first one, of course, is how they want to change things. You want to make major changes to the way things operate in your business. This may involve new policies or way your company will be performing tasks going forward. For example, let's say you're considering the idea of making your company 100% remote. You've considered the idea and see more good than bad. So you go over the idea with your employees and it's a no-brainer. They all say yes. But let's say that later on you want to scale back the remote thing and want to go with a hybrid model or have everyone back in the office. One of these options won't be met with as much enthusiasm as, say, going remote. So it's important to discuss this with your workers. Would they be more apt to work in a hybrid setting where they can be at the office at least once or maybe twice a week? Or would it make sense if they worked at the office all five days? Survey your workers and see which one will be a good idea. Then make the decision. I'd be more apt to go with a compromise that would not only benefit you, but also your workers. You want to make changes that both you and your employees welcome. These critical big changes should be something that your employees will need to be aware of ahead of time. The second greatest challenge is making a decision to let someone go. So, let's say your company cannot financially sustain the current number of employees you have right now. Unfortunately, this means you'll need to cut a few people. This is where things get tough. The decisions you make will alter lives. It will alter their financial future, or at least for the foreseeable future anyway. These employees have families to take care of, and they have regular payments to make. So it's important to carefully decide who may be sent their walking papers as part of this cutdown. You want to weigh a few metrics such as whether or not they are the most productive people in your company. What is their current situation outside of work like? Are they getting paid a little more than others? All of these factors are going to come into play here. The decisions you make won't be popular within the company. However, some people will come around and understand why you had to let the employees go, while others may leave your company in disgust and protest. Last but not least is finding that work-life balance. I get it. As a leader, you're going to be busy with plenty of things, and that all comes with the territory. However, it's important for you to set an example. Allow your employees to work for a certain time, and then use the rest of the day to rest, relax with family, and come back refreshed tomorrow. The same should apply to you. This is a decision you can discuss within the company. What kind of needs do they have? How will it make more sense to adjust the scales of work-life balance? This has been a presentation of the three challenges every leader must face, and I hope you've learned something from it. Be aware of these challenges and make the best possible decisions going forward. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.